Speaking of NC State, if I'm Dave Dorn, I said this last week, Chris, when you weren't here, but I think Thursday for me solidified it even further, even though they did win. And I love Dave. I think Dave's a legit good dude. I think he's a good coach. I think it's time for him to look somewhere else. Why would Thursday get you to that? Because I don't, I don't understand that. Okay, so when I was thinking Thursday, the team is that, that he, that team that he put together, yeah. should be the reason why he goes somewhere else. No, no, I just think that. Okay, let, let me finish. Let me get to my point. Is that when I was watching Thursday? It's that all the expectations, everything that he assembled this year was like the perfect storm for them to finally get to ACC championship game. Right. All right. I know they've had to run it. They've in the Atlantic Division, I get all that. That's all going to be going away starting next year. But nevertheless, they've always had to run up against Clemson. And they beat them last year, still didn't get to a championship game. Everything was perfect for them this year. He took him 10, it's taken him 10 years to build the team up to where it is right now. And he st- it just you're still running into that brick wall. For me, I think it's just a time like at what point are you just going to say, you know what? I'm doing the same thing over and over again. And it's not getting into a better position. As hard as he's worked, as hard as that program has been built. And you I, want him to go where? Honestly, I think Arizona State. Arizona State still needs a head coach. Because they literally fired Herm Edwards as he walked off the field after like the third game this season. But I think Arizona State, in all honesty, is the place to go. Because, I know it's been pointed out before, who's leaving? UCLA and USC, right? Who's your big competition out there? Oregon? Okay. Washington, maybe, if they get good again. Eh. If, exactly. if, if they get good again. Exactly. Big if. Maybe. That's it. I, I see what you're saying. We're the Cougars of Washington State. Whoo. I see what you're saying. Powerhouse. But, like, the Pac-12 could die. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it will. I mean, you know, there, there's probably still, I think, uh, once the college football playoffs expand to 12 Which is teams, in two years, which I think is even more reason to it, go. It keeps it, it keeps it more interesting, and I think it keeps it around a little bit more. But I think the Pac-12, as we know it, mm-hmm. could die, right? Like, And as far as like its importance, you could look up and the American could be a little bit more important than the Pac-12. I don't know. If, I mean, importance is one thing, sure, but I know these – with the automatic qualifiers, with conference champions and all that kind of thing, that's what you're trying to. The goal is to get to the college football playoff, right? Here's what's here's, the easier route. Here's the thing that I'm thinking about, and, and to me, I think it's overthought thinking that the easiest route will be outside of the ACC. I think he's already built his easiest route right now, and he'd be to me like unless it's just super life changing money. Like I, I completely get that unless yeah. it's super life changing money. A lot more than what he's getting at NC State right now. If he can get to that, you know, nine, you know, eight, nine, ten million dollar per year range. Yeah. Okay, I get it. But if not, you've built your easiest route right now because to you know, next year you're not gonna have to worry about the Atlantic now. If you are the number two team behind Clemson, which you were last year, which you could have you could be in in a few years, it'll be you and Clemson. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They still have to play Clemson every year because they're in their pot. Still has to have to play them, but at the same time, though, um, it still makes it a little bit easier taking away the conferences. I'm, I'm sorry, the divisions, the divisions with, within yeah. the conference. Excuse me. Um, and and you know, a lot of people have said Nebraska, Wisconsin, and the Big Ten. Why would you want to do that right now? I mean, outside of the money, but why would no, you want to do I, that I right touch now the Big Ten, with you know all the teams that like Ohio, like all the teams that are there. Ohio State, Michigan, you're, you're, you Southern are Southern Cal coming in. Southern Cal coming in. Penn State, you are going to have that competition there. And at Nebraska and Wisconsin, you have certain expectations to live up to. Yeah. This year will be considered a failure for NC State just because of the expectations mm-hmm. if they go eight and four, right? Yeah. But normally, under normal circumstances, eight and four. That's a pretty good year. We're going to a, to a bowl game. Yeah, that's that's good for NC State, and yeah. he has a chance right now to solidify himself as the goat at NC State. He already has accolades that NC State has or hasn't done in a long time outside of the ACC championship game. Mm-hmm. It's the only thing he hasn't done yet. Yeah, he hasn't done an ACC championship yet, but he can almost solidify himself as the goat coach uh, at. 
NC State if he stays. And I think that's what you're kind of putting out there, leaving on the table, if you were to leave for some other job, that yeah. I don't think the grass is going to be greener on the other side. You already have your recruiting trail here in the state of North Carolina. You're still getting good recruits. You probably just need to hire a better offensive coordinator. Well, that would help. <laughs> that would probably help That you would help. You've gone from Matt Canada to, to Tim Beck. You're producing – uh, NFL caliber quarterbacks all oh, the yeah. time. You're producing you know NFL talent. You, you really you got, are. You legit you got are producing NFL talent. A top six, uh, uh, you know, pick from last year mm-hmm. in Ikem Aquanu. Uh, Grant Gibson's going to get drafted next year at a certain point. You know what I'm saying? Like you're you're going to have guys that you can look back on and say, "Hey, we got these guys to the NFL," and we're in a conference where we're probably going to end up being in the top five conversation in that conference for sure. Over the next, I would say, eight years, if he stays on this track, why why give that up? I don't know. And I, if I you just, go to if I you go know. to Nebraska, and no, I wouldn't go to Nebraska. If you go to Nebraska, and I'm just I'm just bringing it up because yeah. it, it it's been reported that that could be one of his dream jobs. That's one of his dream oh, yeah. jobs. Oh yeah, he's he's so from the Midwest. If you go to Nebraska and you turn in seven and five every year, they're not going to like that. Well, better what they have been doing. You turn in seven and five in Raleigh. <laughs> Uh, they I may mean, not like thing. it. No, but that's the you, thing. You're gonna have a job. Yeah, well, yeah, you're gonna have a job. But at, at okay, at what point you just be like, all right, let's just repeat eight and four, rinse it all over again, like at nine and three. But I, mean, I think I think I'm, I think he's better than that at NC State, though. I'm just saying that that's like the low end, low end. I, I think he's he's good enough to be an eight and four, nine and three coach every year in ACC. Well, but yeah, I mean he's he's proven that essentially in and out. Right. But we're talking about can you get to eleven? But go going to another school though. How easy is it, is it going to be to do that? Pac-12 will be Pac-10. Yeah, I think it's going to be easier. Okay, I think you'd be a top team. I think again, it's going to take him a little bit of time to build up, but I think it's just going to be a lot easier than what it than what it currently is. 